John Silber, the longtime president of Boston University and the Democratic nominee for governor in 1990, has died. John Silber was an enormous figure in this town who will be remembered both for his transformation of BU, which he took over in 1970, and for his pivotal role as a figure in one of the truly epic governor's races in the history of Massachusetts. When he took over BU, which he had gone to from the University of Texas, it was a university that had deep financial problems and had been mired in mediocrity, in the opinion of many people, for a very long time. And Silber, although always a controversial figure because of his autocratic style, brought definitely higher academic standards and financial stability to BU and really turned it into a top tier university. I will remember him best for his race against Bill Weld in 1990 when he was the very unlikely Democratic nominee for governor of Massachusetts. He had never sought office before and he was hardly a natural politician but he believed he could tap into the widespread voter anger that year and he almost succeeded losing the governor's race by 77,000 votes. As many people will remember, the race was essentially tied well into the race. And Silver had a disastrous television interview with Natalie Jacobson that cost him many votes. And also the Globe endorsed Bill Weld at the end, breaking with years of tradition of endorsing Democrats for high office. But uh, John Silver, again, was a true leader in the world of higher education and a memorable figure in Massachusetts politics. I'm Adrian Walker for the Boston Globe.